Hello everybody, it's Luke Sharp here, back again with another little video. Once again, sitting in front of a computer. Uh, I came here today, because of course the selection show just ended about, let's see, I'd probably say about 20 minutes ago. Uh, and the now ESPN Tournament Challenge just now officially opened up. So, we're, I'm going to come on here and make some picks on who I think is going to win uh, the national championship this year. And I will try not to be biased as much as possible. But before we head into this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe this is for future video uploads. And, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead, I guess, and get into this because I, I want to try to keep it short and sweet because I don't know. Because people usually like videos that are short and sweet, even though they clearly have the time to watch the video. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. I'll make this a little bit smaller. Alright, wrong one. Here we go. Uh, it just random. I I actually like randomized a thing f for it, so it has UConn winning it. But I don't know who that's. I'm gonna have win. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, make our picks. So UConn versus Stetson. UConn will win that one. Uh, even though Stetson, I feel like is probably like the best 16 seed. Uh, I don't think they're beating UConn. So yeah, UConn. FAU and Northwestern. FAU usually plays good against good teams, and plus, let's be honest, uh, they're probably going to win, even though they don't even deserve to be in this tournament, in my opinion. If they get, it's absolutely ridiculous that USF didn't get in, but FAU got in. It's absolutely ridiculous, but FAU I think should win that game. San Diego State and UAB. I feel like this could be a pretty good game. UAB's hot right now. They just won the American Conference Championship tournament, and San Diego State, of course, lost. Not that long ago, but I think I'm going to stick with the San Diego State pick, but I could very well see UAB winning that. And then Auburn versus Yale. Yale's pretty good, but Auburn is just hot right now. They just won the SEC Tournament Championship, just ran through the SEC Tournament. So I'm going to go with Auburn there. And then BYU versus Duquesne. That could be a good game. Duquesne is hot right now. Like, they are hot. Uh... Like, man, that that would be a good game. It, you know what? Give it to me. I, I haven't really been impressed with BYU as of late. Give me the Dukes of Duquesne. Congratulations, Duquesne, on making your first tournament appearance since 1977. That's insane. And then Illinois versus Moorhead State. Moorhead State, I heard, is, like, really good. Like... But here's the thing, though. Illinois, they just ran past the Big Ten tournament. I feel like they kind of got lucky. But you know what? They're still hot right now. Give me Illinois. But I could, I wouldn't be shocked if Moorhead State won this because they are a good team. Washington State versus Drake. Uh, give me Drake instead. I feel like Drake's been playing well. Give me the Bulldogs, man. Drake's a good team. And then Iowa State versus South Dakota State. Give me Iowa State. Uh, Iowa State's just on a different level right now. Just They literally blew out Houston like it was nothing. Iowa State is legit. All right, moving on down to the West region. Uh, North Carolina should win that game fairly easily. Mississippi State versus Michigan State. I'm going to go with Michigan State, even though I feel like Michigan State shouldn't be in the tournament. They will. Mich Michigan State will find a way to win because it's Tom Izzo. Tom Izzo and March, man. I'm telling you, man, like Tom Izzo in March. I think Tom Izzo will find a way. St. Mary's versus Grand Canyon. You know, I should probably start previewing these things. Actually, man, they haven't. Here we go. Here are the team stats. I know Grand Canyon is a good team, though. Hold up. Let me go back up here. Like, yeah, Moorhead State's, like, really good at defense. But I'm not taking them. I know Grand Canyon is usually pretty good. 
I know St. St. Mary's has a good defense, but I don't know, man. Give me give me Grand Canyon. Give me give me the antelopes to upset St. Mary's. Alabama versus College of Charleston. This could be a good one. I know College of Charleston's usually a pretty good team. But I don't know, man. Alabama is one of the best offenses in college basketball. I'm gonna have to probably stick with Alabama. I think Alabama will probably find a way to win one, at least one game. And Clemson versus New Mexico. This could be. I know. I mean, New Mexico. They are hot right now. They are scorching hot. They just won the Mountain West Championship. Mm. This could be a good one. Hmm. You know what? Let, uh, well, yeah, give me New Mexico. Why not? And then Colgate versus Baylor. Colgate's a good team. They are good. They're usually known for their defense. I know that much. Oh Yeah, I'm going to stick with Baylor here. Dayton in Nevada. Give me Dayton. And then Arizona versus LBSU can be Arizona. I'm probably going to pick at least one two seed to lose because, well. I mean, it's happened three years in a row. I'm going to have to pick a 15 over a two at some point. But I don't think it's going to be here. But who knows? Possibly Arizona's fraudulent, so it wouldn't shock me one bit. Hopefully it's not Tennessee. I hope and pray it's not Tennessee, man. All right, Houston versus Longwood. I'm going to go with Houston. Nebraska versus a and I'm going to go with Nebraska, man. Nebraska's a good team. Wisconsin versus James Madison. Give me the Dukes of James Madison. They are a good team. They are legit. James Madison is legit, man. I'm telling you. They are a good team. I've seen them play. They are good. And then Duke versus Vermont. That could be a possible good one. I know Vermont's usually good at defense, but eh. I think I'm going to stick with Duke, though. Texas Tech versus NC State. Give me NC State, man. NC State's scorching hot right now. They are hot. That is a team I definitely don't want to play right now is NC State. I know I've picked, like, <laughs> I've picked three of the 11 seeds. Like, man. And then I think Kentucky will beat Oakland. Florida versus Boise State or Colorado. Florida versus Boise State or Colorado. I'm going to stick with Florida. Marquette versus Western Kentucky. I think this is where I'm going to pick my 15 over 2. I mean, it's happened three years in a row now. It's happened three years in a row. I think it'll probably happen for the fourth year in a row. And I think Marquette, I feel like in my opinion, they are, they are the worst two seed. In my opinion. I feel Western Kentucky is actually not a bad team. They are not. Like... They're actually a pretty solid team. I feel like they're probably the best 15 seed Western Kentucky is. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Western Kentucky over Marquette. And then Purdue, I, I would love to pick the 16 seed here because, of course, they lost to a 16 last year, but I don't think it's going to happen two years in a row. I'm going to go with Purdue. Utah State versus TCU. Have I picked an 8 seed? I have. Actually, it's mostly been eight seeds. This this is gonna be a good game. I don't think I'm gonna stick with Utah State here, actually. And then Gonzaga versus McNeese. This will be a good game. McNeese is a good team. Like I feel like Gonzaga probably got the best twelve seed, honestly. But I don't know. There's pretty good 12 seeds. Like, Green Canyon's good. McNeese is good. Uh, James Madison is good. UAP is probably the worst out of all the 12 seeds, honestly. 
No offense to any, if, if there's any UAB fans watching. But I, I think I'm going to stick with Gonzaga, but I could very well see McNeese winning. Kansas versus Sanford. Hmm. I know Sanford's a good team. If. Hmm. I'm going to stick with Kansas for now. But if I find out that Hunter Dickinson and that McCuller guy are not playing, give me Samford, man. Like, as soon as I fi try to find out if those two are playing or not, I'm, I'm, if they're pl not playing, I'm instantly changing my pick to Samford. Because Samford's good. South Carolina versus Oregon. I've picked, like, all the 11 seeds. i got to pick at least one six seed, and might as well just be South Carolina. Creighton versus Akron. I think I'm going to stick with Creighton. Creighton's usually a pretty good team. And then Texas versus either UVA or Colorado State. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with the play-in. Usually one play-in team usually wins every single year. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with the play-in. And I'm going to stick with Tennessee, of course, obviously. Although I feel like this could be a pretty good game. If we lose to... If we lose to St. Peter's, bro, we're never going to hear the end of it from Kentucky fans. All right, moving on. Sweet, ra second round. UConn versus FAU, I'm going to stick with UConn. San Diego State versus Auburn, I'm going to stick with Auburn. <laughs> Duquesne versus Illinois. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Illinois. And then Drake versus Iowa State, give me Iowa State. I know I picked, like, the four seeds out of here, but, meh. I don't care. North Carolina versus Michigan State, man. That would be a good game. I think I'm going to stick with North Carolina here. Grand Canyon versus Alabama. I think this is where Alabama goes out. Give me Grand Canyon, man. Give me Grand Canyon. New Mexico versus Baylor. I'm going to stick with Baylor. Then Dayton versus Arizona. Give me Dayton. Give me Dayton. <laughs> and then Houston versus Nebraska. I got to pick a one seed to at least lose because this happens usually every year. And I think I'm probably actually going to do it here. Give me Nebraska, man, when they are hot. They are a hot, hard team to be. That Kaisi Tominaga guy. Like, when he is on, he is on. So give me Nebraska. Then James Madison versus Duke. That could be a good game, man. You know what? I'm doing it. James Madison. Why not? James Madison, baby. They are a good team. I'm telling you. James Madison is legit. And then NC State versus Kentucky. Give me NC State, man. They are hot right now. Give me the Wolfpack. And then Florida versus Western Kentucky. Honestly, call me crazy. I think I'm going to go with Western Kentucky. I mean, it's, hap it's happened three years in a row that a 15 seed is... Made it to Sweet 16. Why not this year? Why not this year? And then Purdue versus Utah State. Give me Purdue. Gonzaga versus Kansas. Give me, give me Gonzaga. South Carolina versus Creighton. I'm going to have to go with Creighton, man. I'm going to have to go with Creighton. And then Tennessee versus the play in between UVA or Colorado State. Give me Tennessee. You can say I'm biased. I don't care. And then the Sweet 16. UConn versus Auburn. That would be a good game. That would be a good game. Both teams are hot right now. UConn's playing at their best. Auburn's playing at their best. I think I'm 
I know the last time, the last time Auburn won the SEC tournament, that was the year they made the Final Four. This, that would be a good game. That would be a good game. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with UConn here, but I could very well see Auburn winning. Then uh, Illinois versus Iowa State. Give me Iowa State, man. They are hot right now. North Carolina versus Grand Canyon. Sadly, I think this is where Grand Canyon's run ends. And then Baylor versus Dayton. Dayton, I don't Give me Baylor, man. I don't know. And then Nebraska versus James Madison. Madison, you know what? I don't care. I'm doing it again. James Madison Elite Eight run. I'm telling you, James Madison is legit. And then NC State versus West Kentucky. I think we'll go with NC State. The NC State versus James Madison in the Elite Eight, man. That's insane. But you know what? It's March. Why not? And then Purdue versus Gonzaga. I'm going to go Purdue. And Tennessee versus Creighton. This would be a good game. It, you can hate me. I don't care. I'm going Tennessee. Or then UConn versus Iowa State. I'm going to go with Iowa State, man. They're playing well right now. Then UNC versus Baylor. Give me UNC. And then James Madison versus NC State. Well, a 12 seed has never made the Final Four. Well, give me NC State then. NC State to the Final Four. Oh, my gosh. And then Purdue versus Tennessee. I want to pick Tennessee so badly. I mean, it is hard to beat the same team twice. You know what? No, nah, I'm going to stick with Purdue. I want to pick Tennessee so bad, but I just can't. And then here's my final four. Iowa State, you would see the NC State Purdue. I think Iowa State will beat North Carolina. And I'm gonna go Purdue to beat NC State. So Iowa State versus Purdue in the Natty. And then I'm gonna go with Purdue. Because Well, just because. And also literally if you think about it, every single one seed who's lost to a sixteen seed, they went on to go win the national championship the next year. So, yeah, I'm going to go Purdue. And then for the tiebreaker, I, I'm i just going to say 108. And there we go. That is my tournament predictions. I would have loved to pick, of course, Tennessee. I think Tennessee, if they play their cards right, I think they can make the Final Four. I think they can, but will they? I don't know. I think very well. Tennessee could very well win that region. They very well could. But the reason I picked Purdue over us, even though we already played, Tennessee just very well. I don't know, man. Tennessee, I would have to go Purdue. As much as I hate to say it. But, yep, those are my picks. Uh, this video was basically 20 minutes long. I'll, I'll talk a little bit later to make it 20, 20 minutes long. <sighs> but, yeah, I feel like some upset picks are like J James Madison over Wisconsin. I think that's a guarantee right there. James Madison is legit. I'm telling you, watch them. Watch their film. They are a good team. They are a good team. Like, I'm telling you, James Madison, don't be shocked if they make a run. Don't be shocked at all, man. But yeah, well, this video is 20 minutes now. I'm going to end this video now. Uh, see y'all later. <laughs> Tennessee to the final four.